gang, welcome back to Backstage Business. This is the Big Entrepreneur Show, group coaching today. I met some fabulous people. I've got an apple. I love an apple. It's a pink lady apple. <laughs> it's the big show. Let's go. To me, entrepreneurship isn't about wealth building. Um, you guys probably think, God, oh, James is all about money. I'm really not. I just like making money so that I can build and create things. That's my big thing. You know, I like, if I wanted to make money, I'd be doing a stockbroking, financial stuff. I'd throw myself into property. Me, I like building train tracks. I'm building a train track around here. I like building fake beaches and Christmas grottos. That's me. And the more money I can make, the bigger I can make and do those things. Um, yeah, I'm a man of profit. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. Uh, you know, but I like the sectors and the businesses that they operate in. I like working with families, uh, and there's plenty of other things out there that make a lot more money than things that I do. However, entrepreneurship means that you look for opportunities and you solve problems. Um, um, and that's why I, I talk about being an investorpreneur because the thing is, if you're very entrepreneurially driven, that's your DNA, um, you need to make sure that you've got some investor stuff which is seeking profit. So entrepreneurs seek opportunities, investors seek profit, and then if we fuse the two together, we seek profitable opportunities, which is a much better way of going about things. Look at someone like Richard Branson and Elon Musk, they operate in this top 5%. But most business owners um, and entrepreneurs uh, operate in what I call the bottom 80%. They, we call them sheep. And these guys, they do the same day in, day out. They do the same day in, day out. They get out, um, they might be a plumber, and they go and quote to do a plumbing job. They do the plumbing job. Then the phone rings again, and then they quote and do the plumbing job. And they do it on repeat. They do the same day in, day out. Definitely no end in mind. Definitely really no year end in mind. It's, we just want to survive, pay the bills, do that, do that. And they don't really have the great life. And really, basically, they've, um, they, they, they might as well be employed and let the employer do all the stress for them. The next level is these 15%. Uh, you guys uh, are probably all in the 15%. Now, what I wanted to say is you have different levels of each one. So you've got different levels. So I put myself here. I don't put myself as an eagle yet. I think like an eagle, but I'm still an ox. Um, and basically, oxes, you'll know these guys, they could be running multi-million pound companies, two, three hundred thousand pound turnover companies, half a million pound companies. They work really, really hard. Really, really hard. That's why I call them oxes. They can do you know, they've created two extra days of the week, Lundi and Nundi. They found time where no one else knew time existed. Um, very, very hard working people um, that, that really are opportunity led. Um, sometimes they make the wrong decisions. They make decisions to create turnover for the business rather than create profit for the business. Um, they fear at the low end, they fear failure. They also fear other people doing jobs for them. So they have a control complex situation about putting a management team in place to run the business. Look at this chance, this is my new way of doing things. I like these wheels. These are new flip charts. Look, we've even got the, this is nice, isn't it, Charles? I feel like I'm on Strictly with this. Um, there we go. So educate, congratulate, appreciate. So we look at a business, so we've got um, above the line, we've got shareholders. 
CEO MD. Come on then guys, shout out some departments in the company. Just come on, Luke. Nope. Marketing. Marketing, yeah, good. Sales, brilliant. IT, operations, accounts, all these different departments. Uh, and then down here, we've got workers. Different levels of management, depending on how big the organization is. If it was the NHS, we be down here. <laughs> um, let's just quickly draw a pyramid over this. I'm very proud of this because I came up with this at Cambridge University when I was lecturing on entrepreneurship all by accident. And they went, that's really good. And I was like, it is, isn't it? It stays in. Um, <laughs> um, basically, now, here's the 80% of the workforce. Here's the 15% in reality. It's much smaller than that. And this is the 5%. But basically, what I'm trying to get at is most entrepreneurs are the worker, they're the head of HR, they're the head of business development, the head of sales, marketing, administration. They wear all of these hats. Very rare does someone get to say, I am the managing director or the CEO of my business. My accounts team is automated, my operations is automated, my marketing is automated. When I say automated, I mean someone else is doing that part for them. The HR is done for them. So we were really trying to work our way up so that we sit above the line and we just come to board meetings. That is the ultimate goal. Now, the reason entrepreneurs don't like that is, well, I want to do more than that. I don't want to just be turning up to board meetings. And that keeps them down here. Now, what can then happen is you can have a Richard Branson, Elon Musk type role where you are here, you build yourself up to be here, but then you go and poke feathers and stick your oar in at all levels. And when you're at that level, that's great. This has been a big learning day here on the Big Entrepreneurial Show today. Hope you've got some good stuff that you can take away and implement into your business. I thank you for that new Grub Coaching Club. It's been a great day. See you soon. Bye bye. Hi, gang. James here. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you learned loads. Now, if you want to learn more and see me live for free here in the big barn at Marsh Farm with other like minded entrepreneurs, then you can come along. All you need to do is hit jamesinclair.net, fill out the form on the page, and we'll see you and learn a load more stuff about entrepreneurship and business. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.